All right, hello my friends. Today we're gonna to talk about a very important subject, how to lock your bike up properly. I unfortunately have had many bikes stolen over my lifetime here in Boulder. Boulder is a hot spot for thieves because there's so many expensive bikes on the streets, in front of stores, at apartment complexes. Nothing is safe in this town and it really sucks. I will never forget the first time a bike of mine got stolen. I was in high school. I had spent my life savings on a Trek 8000. It was $800 and it was stolen out of my mom's garage. Oh, that was a bad day. And since then I've had many other bikes get stolen and it's always frustrating. There is no worse feeling in the world than walking out and being like, huh, where's my bike? Oh crap, it's gone. So I have tapped my friends at a bike shop here in town called Full Cycle to give us a little uh, lesson on how to properly lock your bike. This is it, this is Full Cycle. It's been around Boulder since 1982. One of the main reasons why I love Full Cycle is because they have a full on cafe and yes, they serve burritos, but we're not eating burritos today. We're talking about locks and check it out. We got the owner right here, Russ. How's it going, bud? Hey, pretty good there, Doozer. What's going on? So how's Full Cycle doing these days? Uh, we are doing uh, not too bad. Uh, unfortunately, we actually make quite a bit of money on selling people's new bikes because their bikes get stolen. <laughs> Well, well let's, uh, let's see if we can teach the people out there about how not to get their bike stolen so they don't have to come in here and buy a new bike. I know it's good for business. It's good for business, but I want people to be happy. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, so this is my buddy Spencer. How you doing? Good. Good. He's the operations manager here at Full Cycle. He knows a thing or two about locks and he's going to teach us right now. Ready? Let's do it. Go. got your bike outside you need to have a lock on your bike or it's gonna get stolen there are tons of varieties different options different styles different safety features let's see what we got basic combo cable lock easy to cut through easy to lock and unlock on your own not great for long-term safety but if you're running in the shop this one will do next step you locks a little bit harder to cut a little bit better locking mechanism it's a key versus a combo uh, the safety of these is going to be how thick the U is and how hard it is going to be to cut through as well as how easy or hard the lock is to actually break into. Chain locks are another good high security method. They're also a little bit easier to carry, kind of like a cable lock. You can wrap it around anywhere or throw it in your backpack. A little harder to mount because they're loose but they also allow you to lock your bike in places that you can't use a U-lock. So if you want high security and ease of locking, chain is gonna be what you want. This is another option that combines U-lock safety with the chain um, lockability. A little bit more open, a lot more room to, to lock your bike. All right, let's talk about these fancy pants locks. So these two locks have a little bit more extra security on it. This one has no key. It's Bluetooth only. It works through your phone. So when you're close to it, you can unlock it with your phone. This one here is another mix lock. But what this one has is a alarm on it. This thing will scream at anybody trying to steal your bike if it moves from the place where you locked it. All right, so when you're locking up your bike, you wanna make sure that at the very minimum, you get your frame locked, frame of the bike, anywhere in there around what you're locking it to. Some extra things that you can do is lock your wheels as well, front and rear if possible. Generally, um, I will go for a frame and front wheel when I lock my bike. So, cable lock, pretty simple. Get it around, lock it up, you've got it in there. Are wheels something that thieves steal? Yes. Thieves like front wheels and rear wheels. Fronts are easier to get off than, than rears, but they'll take either one of them. You lock. All right. Sometimes you can be a little bit harder. This one's a little bit small. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it around the wheel and the frame and what I'm locking it to, but at the very least, I'm putting my frame in there. Combo locks uh, require you to remember a combo. It's a little bit easier for a lot of people than carrying around a key. I like keys. They're a little bit more comfortable for me. Somebody can't just crack a, a key lock as easily as they can crack a combo lock. Chain lock, like we said, just about as strong as a U-lock, but a little bit easier to lock around other places. If you want some extra security, you can put as many locks as you want. 
um, locking your front wheel and your frame, your rear wheel and your frame, as many as you have. Expensive bikes around town, you wanna keep them as safe as possible. Overkill, but it's gonna be harder to steal. So as I'm standing here talking about like how to lock your bike up safely, I see this bike and look this, look at this. Tell me what's wrong with this situation here. The lock is around the seat post and it has a quick release. You could pull this right out and you could take that bike. This seat alone is worth like $100. We should find this guy and tell him how to lock his bike up. Final thought, if you have a bike, lock it. The $35 to $80 cost for a lock is not worth the 500 to 3,000 to 10,000 dollars that your bike is worth. Get a lock, lock it up, do it right. All right, so I hope this has been helpful for you, but I just want to reiterate that nothing is safe. There is no lock out there on the market that cannot be broken. If a thief wants your bike, he or she will get your bike. It's a total bummer to be put in this position, but it's your job to make it as hard as possible for a thief to get your bike. And if you're ever lucky enough to catch a thief in the act, kick them in the balls so damn hard. Thanks for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. I have all sorts of adventure videos from around the world. Lots of bike stuff, lots of running stuff. And uh, have a great day, everybody. And get off your couch. Get out there.